Hey guys, what is up? It's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very interesting video I've never done before. I'm going to be talking about my 2021 makeup trend predictions. I'm like a little hesitant to do this just because like I'm not a trend expert by any means. This is just my opinion and I could be 100% wrong. So yeah, but I figured it would be kind of a fun video to do and then maybe react at the end of the year. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's dive in and I really want you guys to leave your uh, trend predictions down in the comments because I really want to hear what you guys think. First things first, in 2020, I feel like we really had like a natural kind of trend of like light coverage foundation and like CC creams and skin tints and that kind of thing was really big in 2020. I think that trend is going to continue for a while, but I think that we're going to have two different kind of realms this year. I think we're going to have one being that natural color scheme. I've been seeing a lot of greens, a lot of blues and color launches. Elf just had their like mint to be or whatever it's called. I can't remember, uh, but it's like a green mint color. And I think that's going to continue in makeup launches and in what's popular and that kind of thing. I don't know if it's going to last a whole year. I have been seeing a lot of people on TikTok doing very high coverage TikToks. Like, and I've been seeing it more on social media. So I kind of think part Part of it is going to split off and we're going to go back into that really, really heavy makeup. And I am not looking forward to that. That is not my thing. Um, but you do you. I've been seeing like really intense like liners and that kind of thing. So I think some people are going to get back into that. And I think it might happen more towards the end of the year. I feel like we didn't really see too much of that in 2020. I mean, some people's that's just their style, you know, but as far as like makeup launches and like what people are doing on YouTube more often I suppose is I think that's going to come a little bit later in this year again this is a hundred percent a guess but you know I had fun writing these up and I just think it's interesting to kind of just speculate but yeah I think we're gonna have more green inspired and nature inspired launches when I think about the Raw Beauty Christie palette she was inspired by the Pacific Northwest in her state Washington when you look at that palette you kind of do see some like jewel tones and I think jewel tones could also really be a big part of 2021 and that being incorporated really intense colors but they're not like neons you know they're more toned down a little bit I was watching a graphic design trend and prediction video the other day and jewel tones was in that video and I feel like that's gonna transfer into makeup and I've also seen like the greens like the really like saturated like jewel toned foresty kind of green in like people's interiors like all over TikTok all over social media I'm seeing people paint on um, like accent walls green and it's really beautiful so I don't think that trend's going away for a while I do think that trend will die eventually but I think it's here to stay and actually amplify a little bit another trend that I think is going to happen is throwback palettes or like throwback collections and I see this in two different ways the first one is kind of like what like Miley Cyrus did with her album. She took kind of like the era of like the 80s, but and she like really amplified it and made it modern, but it's still very reminiscent of the 80s. And I feel like that is going to be incorporated in makeup in one way or another. Not only just taking inspiration from the past, but like adding a spin to it, making it modern and futuristic, um, but still nodding true to old trends. The second part to the throwback prediction is I watched Bridgerton. If you guys haven't seen it, it's like a huge thing on Netflix. I'm sure you've heard of it. Don't watch it with your parents. Okay. Just saying. I think really throwback things are going to be a thing. So I see like Victorian and like some of these older style things, like maybe even like old artwork inspired makeup, something like that, like vintage and that kind of, I mean, vintage has been like trending, I guess, for several years now. So it's not really anything new. Um, but I think that the hype for Bridgerton is actually going to impact kind of everyone's like taste. Like I've been seeing on TikTok, people want to wear gloves and like all of this stuff and like people are making music about it. I think it's just gonna have some kind of impact on the makeup world and I would love like a Victorian, I'm sure it already exists, but I would love a Victorian eyeshadow palette. I wonder what that would look like. Maybe I should make one because hello, that's what I do on TikTok. I make eyeshadow palettes uh, for fun. But those are the two like roads that I think are gonna be um, as far as like throwback. It's gonna be like really throwback 
maybe even like artistic and then like 80s 90s kind of thing but like more modern modern spin I guess you would say the third overarching trend that I see happening and let me give you some backstory so I feel like over the years we have slowly seen like huge like Morphe palettes like 28 pan palettes and now over the years we're getting smaller and smaller and then last year Elf released those quads those four pan little cute bite-sized palettes everyone freaked out including me I was so excited about them I think that this year we're gonna go even smaller and there's gonna be a focus on singles. I think singles are gonna be all the rage. Uh, I feel like a lot of people, and me included in 2020, we focused on palettes. I'm a palette junkie, I love them, but I do wanna get more into singles and um, I'm really excited about that. So I wanna place some single orders, hopefully soon. And I also think that customization and like more brands are gonna do build your own palettes. So they're gonna have like their own palette and like I feel like a decent amount of brands do this like I know lethal cosmetics does this I want to does makeup geek do this I'm not sure but I know there's another brand that I'm thinking of that does this a couple months ago I filmed a video for butonomy which they are really cool and big into customization they like you can pick out the shadows you can name the shadows and you can print your own picture on the front I don't know if companies will go that all out but I think customization single palettes are gonna be a big thing in 2021 and I also one last thing this is me manifesting this into the world um elf single eyeshadows just think about that for a second are you kidding are you kidding I think we would all die I would freak out if elf released singles I would be so excited about that that would be incredible could you imagine like two dollar three dollar shadows the shadow quality in their quads was so good like it's such a good shadow formula and they can do it for so cheap those quads are only three dollars so i feel like they could produce really nice quality single eyeshadows uh for very affordable price so hopefully that happens so those are pretty much my trends i think we're going to stick with the natural trend and then maybe towards the end of the year we're going to get like very intense like matte looks again which I hope I'm wrong on that because I really am not into that look uh, but some people I mean they they really rock it but it's just not my thing and then I think we're gonna get throwback stuff and then I think singles are gonna be the thing of 2021 so I hope you guys enjoyed again be sure to leave your predictions down below thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye